back with Code One Aviation, and we are hanging with Nathan Jones, the owner. Thanks for having us back. You bet. Glad so to tonight, back. we're going to learn a little more about the reassembly of the planes once you guys actually get your hands on them, right? Correct. Uh, when they first come in, depending on what the customer wants, we disassemble the airplane completely, go through the various stages of restoration. Okay. And then there's a process of putting the components together on the workbench, testing them, and then we begin the methodical process of putting all the pieces back in the airplane. And there's just a process where you gotta start with the ones that are kind of buried the furthest and climb your way up to doing final assembly. Sure, so, all right, let's start with that process. Uh, take us through the process of putting an aircraft back together after like a major restoration modification. Well, we've got thousands of parts that we need to organize, lay out, make sure that the amount, the appropriate amount of restoration and work has been completed on them. And then it's just kind of like a, a Lego game where yeah. you're putting the pieces <laughs> in as it goes back together. But we have to be very careful of the quality of restoration. We don't want to scratch them or damage them as we're reassembling. So attention to detail is very important in that reassembly of our restored components. So what do you think is the most difficult part of doing a major modification or restoration on an aircraft? So keeping track of those thousand parts yeah. and what needs to happen to each one of those parts. So uh, that takes some organization and it's a, kind of a big process within our organization to work with all of our employees to see that through from the beginning all the way back to reassembly. And they're not all the same, right? No, every airplane is customized a little bit differently depending on what the customer would like. Sure. So what kind of things are being checked? The ultimate goal, of course, is to get the aircraft back in the sky flying, uh, what are we looking at after a major restoration? So you can imagine how important it is to make sure that all the systems work yeah. when we get in the air because <laughs> we don't have a lot of options once we get in the air. So uh, we have to check the hydraulic system, the gear has to go up and down, the brakes have to function properly. The electrical system of the airplane is a lot of it that was modified. So we got to go through and check every single switch, every single display, uh, all the actuators, all the flight controls. Everything needs to be touched and well function checked in the hangar. You can see the airplanes on jacks ready to do mm -hmm. some of those hydraulic checks, gear checks. Uh, once we completed this, then we'll get it out and do some more checks outside them. The checks take a long time, I'm guessing. They do. Yes. Longer than they look to to us regular uh, <laughs> people who don't know what we're doing here. It does in this take hangar. a while once you put it back <laughs> together to go through and check all the systems. Yeah. So, what's the most exciting part about being involved in a major aircraft restoration? Well, all of these are custom and they're customized for the individual customers that we yeah. have. So I, I know everybody here loves working on these airplanes because they're very unique, but we also get a lot of satisfaction out of being able to provide the customer with what he's looking for okay. and the level of customization. Uh, we take great joy in watching them taxi out and fly their airplane after a major restoration and an upgrade. So, you know, it's kind of like a kid opening a present <laughs> at Christmas time. You know, they show up and their airplane's all ready to yeah. go and they're just very excited. And, we get a lot of kick out of that. Yeah, kind of also like a kid like getting a new toy and then figuring out yep. how to make it work. Yep. <laughs> Can imagine uh, some of you who work here were, were those kids putting yes. the toys together, Absolutely. making yes. everything Building work. Building model airplanes and yeah, things like that. Yeah, which is pretty awesome. So you're looking for some new some new toy makers, if you will. We, <laughs> yes, yes. We'd love to add some folks to our team. We're very yeah. busy. We've got a lot going on. Uh, we're looking for some A&P mechanics. We're looking for some avionics technicians. Uh, we're also looking for some general maintenance, some restoration folks that are having high attention to detail. I think we have a position in our fabrication shop, so a guy who's good at welding and fabricating. Uh, we'd love to have them uh, join us on board. I think we're even looking for some general building maintenance. So we kind of, just about anything sure. out there, we could probably use somebody. So feel free to jump onto our website uh, and take a look at careers and just forward your resume to us. All right, so Jason is with us now. What do you do here at Code One? I'm an avionics technician, so I update and add newer, nicer electronics to the aircraft. Okay, and that must be like something that happens a lot here as all these planes are getting, you know, remastered, if you will. Yes, yeah, so that's a lot of what we do is um, they see all the glass panels and basically flying around with iPads that yeah. give you all of your information in front of you, which is very nice. Very cool. So what makes Code One Aviation unique? Um, what makes Code One Aviation unique is the, um, we have a great work environment here. It's a lot like a family. Um, we will all work very well together in trying to provide the best and safest airplanes that we can. It's just a great place to come and work every day. All right, so clearly you love working here. Oh yeah. <laughs> so maybe there's some other people out there who want to work here too. Pretty easy, you can just send your resume in, right? Yeah, so if anybody's interested in working here, um, not all of our job listings are posted, but you can email them to info at code1aviation.com and we can get back to you.
Our video producer, Victoria, actually got to fly with them for that. That was so cool. Next, we are debuting our new set decor. A little preview right here, but Corinne from the Copper Cow is waiting in the Mahoney and Mahoney Blue Room. She's going to tell us all about this decor style when we come back.